Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Joe and I'll be your rave tour guide for the day. Today, we are embarking on an epic journey through EDC Las Vegas 2023. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I've been attending EDC Las Vegas since 2012 and I started this channel to help first timers and seasoned veterans enhance their EDC Las Vegas experience with tips and informative content. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for all new EDC Las Vegas content. We are so close to hitting 1000 subscribers. It's day one and we're about to dive headfirst into the excitement. We've got an action packed day ahead, so let's get started. We are kicking things off by taking an Uber to ensure we make it to the opening ceremonies scheduled between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. As we prepare to make our way through the gates, I bumped into a subscriber. Andre, if you're watching this, thank you for the gift at the Dream State pre-party and it was such a pleasure to meet you. We arrived to gate P, the entrance for the GA parking, taxi and rideshare lots. Yes. Hell yeah. Shortly after getting through security, I bumped into another subscriber. What's up guys? Tell me your name, where are you visiting from? I'm, my name's Des from Australia. Number one EDC reviewers. Yes. Advice, everything. Let's go. This channel. Day one. Let's go. So when you enter through gate P, you'll be entering the festival through the bleachers. This is such an iconic and traditional moment and I hope you take the time here to take it all in. Reflect on the hard work and effort to finally get to this very moment because it's so special. Be present, take it all in, and then make your way down to the festival grounds. We took a short break at the top of the bleachers before we made our way down to grab some drinks and food. However, we did not realize what we were getting into once we made our way down. There's plenty of room towards the bleachers, but the closer you get to the festival entrances to the left and right of Cosmic Meadow, the crowds got bigger and bigger near 7pm. We innocently thought that getting a drink and some chicken tenders close to the stairs would be simple, but it got crowded really quickly and there wasn't much room to move from where we were. If you've been to Disneyland, I would compare this moment to rope drop. Thankfully, everyone was entering the festival in an orderly fashion. I believe the stairs do a good job of slowing down the flow of people entering. We waited for about 10 minutes to let the crowds clear before we entered the festival ourselves. Now it's time to explore the festival grounds and take in all the sights and sounds. Join us as we venture through the various stages, art installations, and vibrant areas that make EDC so unique. It truly is a feast for the senses. But first, beatboxes. We're at the Pixel Bar in Pixel Forest right on Electric Avenue. Beatboxes are a great festival beverage that you can take with you, put in your pocket or even in your bag. Pro tip, save your caps because some bars remove caps and throw them away. Let me know in the comments why you think they throw the caps away. Okay, let's go explore. First, we'll take Electric Avenue to check out the new Circuit Grounds stage design. Then we'll take Rainbow Road all the way to Kinetic Field to see Celestial in all her glory. As we make our way to Kinetic Field, to your left there's a silhouette of the flower tower against the electric sky as the sun begins to set. 
And here's the new entry to Kinetic Field with the Zen Guardians. They've also replaced the arch with a horizontal design and two pylons that appear much more stable. In 2022, the wind forced the event organizers to shut down the stage to remove the swinging kinetic field sign. This is a good example of Insomniac improving each and every year. I think the pylons are pretty epic, kind of like spires channeling energy to and from the electric sky. Now that we've made it to Kinetic Field, we're going to head into the VIP area to the east side. I'm so excited to show you this year's new VIP area design. Especially if 2023 was your first EDC, trust me, VIP is the way to go. Gonna take care of you the best. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. We've only been here about two hours and I already feel so much love. This was the fourth subscriber I met today. I love what I do, and this year's EDC definitely confirmed that. This year, Insomniac brought back the epic viewing deck we saw back in 2018. It had two floors, giving VIP headliners an amazing view of Kinetic Field. Here's our view from the top floor at around 8.30 p.m. You can also see the VIP Ferris wheel from the viewing deck. Wow, what a beautiful view. On the ground floor in front of the viewing deck were tables and high top chairs. I was really excited to take our friends here to the viewing deck. It had an awesome view, it was super spacious, and everything was a short walk away from the viewing deck like the restrooms, bars, food vendors, and water stations. It was a great place to start the weekend. Part of the group left to grab drinks and they brought me something. Check out this ghost wide awake watermelon exclusive. Ugh, I really wish I kept this as a souvenir instead of drinking it, but it sure did taste delicious. Since we're up on the viewing deck, let's take a look at the new features at Kinetic Field. To the left and right side of the main stage, they've added additional pylons and horizontal connectors to give you a sense that the stage extends far out to the sides. When you're in the dance floor, it'll feel encompassing as the stage surrounds you from all angles. So sick. Let's also take a second to talk about the moving parts on the stage, including her arms, head, and eyes. She can move her hands outward, her head left and right, and her eyes open and close. This is the most movement I've ever seen at the kinetic field. This is honestly by far the most sophisticated stage I've seen. On each of the pylons at Kinetic Field are big LED displays, which are a cool addition, helping headliners see the artist playing at any part of the dance floor. Let's go check out the rest of the VIP area before we make our way to circuit grounds. We are meeting up with our best friend Elijah to see Medusa and get the night started. Let's make our way south on Rainbow Road and pull over at Nomad's Land. You can find several different art installations and attractions here at Nomad's Land. Let's take a look around while we take a quick break. There is a lot to see and of course a lot to do. 
Scattered throughout the festival are different activations from various event sponsors. Tonight, we're checking out the Sky Vodka activation in between Base Pod and the Circuit Grounds VIP area. Sky Vodka is a brand of liquor that is served throughout the festival. At this activation, there is a bar, a few carnival games, and a special viewing deck that can be accessed by playing one of the carnival games. When you play, you'll get access to the deck for a specified period of time. You can go up there to take pics or just chill away from the crowd. Now let's make our way to Circuit Grounds to meet up with Elijah. Wow, check out this entrance. They definitely kicked it up a notch at the VIP entrance since this year. We're meeting Elijah at the light installation in the Circuit Grounds VIP area. But let's take a quick look around to see what we're working with for the weekend. Did you know there was a speakeasy bar at the computer repair shop? I didn't, but I sure wish I did. I would have loved to have taken Mrs. Tour Guide inside for a drink. Let's check out the lockers and the restrooms in VIP. Alright, now back to the light installation to meet up with Elijah! Let's move up a bit to catch a good view of Medusa. Come and join us. Dang, the stage productions and lighting is getting so good this year. I am so stoked. That was plenty of dancing for a bit. Let's go grab a bite to eat and let's go check out what's available. We decided on the Angelino pizza with garlic crema, mozzarella, pepperoni, Soprasada and jalapenos for $22 plus tax. The pizza was about 12 inches and was a light meal for Mrs. Tour Guide and I. The pizza was fresh. The dough had the right amount of chew. It had a good ratio of pizza to cheese and a nice kick from the jalapenos. All right, we are refueled and ready for our next set. Fisher. Wow, just wow. We last saw Fisher five months ago on New Year's Day at Cross. This set was much better. Now we're going to bop over to Cosmic Meadow to catch a part of Grizz. To get to Cosmic Meadow, we're going to take Electric Avenue and head west. We'll see some rides and the anniversary car along the way. This year, we're opting for areas with more room and a good landscape view of the stage. Here we are for Grizz. During Grizz's set, I saw Mr. Mushroom Man, so I ran over to say hi. We're going to make our way back to Circuit Grounds to catch the rest of Fisher before Above and Beyond comes on at 1 a.m.
This above and beyond set has been so good. Then the fireworks came on. Unfortunately, the view wasn't super good, but the fireworks were great nonetheless. And shortly after, it began to rain. After an unforgettable night, it's time to bid farewell to EDC Las Vegas Day 1. Luckily, the festival provides shuttle services at an additional cost for tired but satisfied ravers like us. We'll be hopping on a shuttle after 3 a.m. to safely head home. We've laughed, danced, and made memories that will last a lifetime. EDC Las Vegas continues for two more days, and we can't wait to share those experiences with you too. Make sure to subscribe to the Rave Tour Guide channel so you don't miss out. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers. See you for day two. Bye for now.